the wand did the thief steal? The wand of Zacharias, my master. He was a great man, the hero of the, the, hero of the defense of the lost chapel. And those scoundrels took his wand. A relic! Ballads are sung of Zacharias, and they're just damned thieves. Master Zacharias will return, and he will assemble us all, his students, and we'll show them. I'll show them what a battle maze Telden is made of. Fury sparks in the old man's eyes. His spine straightens, and in a fluid motion, his hands raise his wand at the ready. But a howl of rage from outside frightens... Frightens? Outside frightens off the ghosts of the past. The old man turns around and looks at you in befuddlement. You were just asking me about something. Uh, I forgot what it was. Tell me about Zacharias. The old man turns misty-eyed. A great hero he was. Fearless but insightful. He never underestimated the strengths of the demons. He understood that we couldn't hold out. Oh, wait. When they laid siege to the Lost Chapel, it was Zacharias who stood in the breach to rescue the clerics. He understood that we couldn't hold out, but he refused to retreat. He had vowed to defend the temple, but the, before the final onslaught, he gathered up his surviving apprentices, looked us over, and picked me. He said, Teldon, today I will die and leave my comrades behind. Take my wand and bring it to Canabris. Should an hour of great need come, a worthy crusader can take the wand and bring it to me. I will know that my brothers need me once more, and I will come to their aid. Not even death shall stop me. And so I brought his wand to his, in his final words here. I also brought something else here. This is why I am the way I am. The old man pokes a finger in his bald head. Fear consumed my mind. It shattered my reason. I was so desperate to forget that terrible day that my memory slowly but surely fled my wretched head. Are you alright? The, the poor old man smiles piteously and makes a helpless gesture. Old age, my friend. Old age and the poison of fear seeping into my mind. Both have turned me from a crusader and battle mage into a sorry specimen that you see before you. This museum is all I have. Whenever I forget who and where I am, I just read the exhibit's labels. They are of the past, just like me. And now some ruffians have ransacked this place. I'm frightened, my young friend. I'm very frightened. Don't be afraid, the girl whispers. There's nothing to be afraid of. All the scary things have already happened. They're in the past. The old man nods but continues his agitated motions. Scary. So scary. Tell me about the museum's exhibits. The old man seems to come to life. It would take a lifetime to tell you all there is to know, uh, but I'll take you on a tour of the highlights, some of my personal favorites. You should have a look around. You won't regret it. For instance, we have a painting here depicting angels fighting demons. Now, you may find it hard to believe, but in the First Crusade, many heavenly beings fought shoulder to shoulder with the Crusaders. And these two in the paintings are Targona and Lariel, the Silver Twins as they were called. I actually met them, you know, when I was a young man studying under Macris Master Zacharias. They had no airs or graces about them. They walked among the mortals. They spoke to us. They healed our wounds. Lady Targonia, I remember her especially well. She had a special unearthly wisdom within her. The angel Laria, on the other hand, was known for his daring, and the youngest crusaders idolized him. I wonder where they are now, the twins. We don't have celestial beings in our ranks anymore. They all left some time during the Second Crusade on a very important mission, they say. But I do love looking at these paintings and remembering those days when envoys of the heavens walked among us and the light that seemed to shine from within them. The old man wipes his eyes. Oh, what was I saying? You must be a messenger, yes? Or are you a visitor? Why do those times end? Why do the Celestials not fight with us still? Heaven has not abandoned us, surely. Heaven is above us, far, far away. Everything there is good, I heard, but they can't see us from all the way up there. You said the angels Targona and Lariel are twins, but how can angels have siblings? 
That's a good question. Of course, angels are not born like mortals, so they can't have a mother, father, or, or sisters and brothers as we understand them. Angels come into being from reincarnated souls or from the pure essence of the upper planes. Sometimes angels may adopt some features of mortals. For instance, they can identify as male or female, although that is not generally their way. Some can also develop bonds of camaraderie with their kinship. Oh, camaraderie, or even kinship. But the case of the Silver Twins is rarer still. There are two angels who emerge from one soul. What else should they be called if not twins? The old man smiles, seemingly satisfied with his speech, but within moments his vacant expression is back in place, all awareness gone from his eyes. Go to the Defender's heart. There are good people there. They'll look after you. The old custodian gives you a toothless smile. Really? Is it safe there? But how can I leave the museum? His gaze falls upon the traces of the ransacking, and the old man becomes lost in thought, as though trying to find an explanation for what he is seeing. You know what happened here, don't you? Thieves they were prowling about wanted to rob the museum, but I stopped them. Those ne'er-do-wells came in here, and I gave them what for? A dose of battle magic! They won't be back, don't you worry about me. I may be old, but I can still hold my own. I have to go. The old man's bewildered gaze follows you as you go. Goodness, what a mouthful from that old man. Is there like a, a second floor here? I do what I must. Oh... Woo! What are you? So I have the keys to unlock everything here. Uh, what's that armor? Okay, a plus two chain shirt. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be pretty good for me, right? Uh, it doesn't affect anything. Can anyone else wear a Mithril? No. No, they can't. Let's look at an 8 AC. Yeah, it's not good. Man, I have all this stuff I can get in here. Okay. Well, let's head on out. We thoroughly explored. So I feel like there should be more for me to explore, right? I got these keys. Maybe they just... I don't know. Push the column. There's a door over here. Oh, it's just here. Okay. Oh. Vision of Targonia. The translucent silhouette of a winged female warrior glows softly. He brought us back to the waking... Greetings. Who are you? Not who. What? Memories. This place was created as a cradle of memory and fantasy. These things are belo belonged to the city of heroes were kept here. People used to come to this place to remember those heroes, and myself and the others are living memories. You woke us, so here we are. Lots of things seem silent only until you care to listen to them. Like here, someone's memory has awoken to reveal itself to us. So, your memories, of who? Of the heroes the city wished to immortalize. Go, touch a memory, see how they remembered us. After all, this place was created so that our names would never disappear into the mists of history. There used to be a place like this near Netherholm, Lon sighs. Quiet, calm. I used to walk among the plinths and pedestals, wondering, the people who founded this place, what was driving them? Were they thinking about future generations? How to pass down their wisdom and show them the right path? Or were they thinking of themselves, trying to keep their names and deeds alive? But then the ceiling collapsed, and that place didn't exist anymore, so my question was moot. I wish I could say that we have not dishonored your memory, but Canaveras lies in ruin, and we... We... But you fearlessly battle the invaders with no thought for yourself. You have earned no censure, 
We are proud of you. Right. In the olden days, mortal kind lost to the demons time after time after time, and now their descendants are continuing the losing streak. How could they not be proud of that? Why'd you help me? A soft smile appears in the woman's face. I sensed something in you, and if you are close to me somehow, that we stood shoulder to shoulder once in the face of evil, then we must do so again. I sense that light dwells within you. Very recently you were threatened by a powerful demon, and dark bloodlust tried to enslave your soul, but you were posted and held fast. Continue to follow the path of light, and other righteous souls will aid you and follow you. Farewell, Vision. Farewell. The power that gives us this semblance of life is running out, and soon we will once again be but memories, living only in words, pictures, and songs. So, is there anything I'm missing? I, I guess the keys were just to that mithril shirt. Oh well. Just normal Falcata, leave. Oh, well, let's go to the party house. That sounds fun. Jesus, it's taking me all the way up to the Marquis Square to get there? All right. I've been spotted by enemies. This is just gonna be two people with nothing interesting. It's <laughs> just, just giant centipedes. Whoa, giant spooter! Those who remember my Dark Souls playthrough know I hate spooters. I mean, yeah, I... Uh, that weather system, though. Holy moly. I was not expecting that lightning bolt. I like Sela a lot. Her character is interesting. Enemies! Okay. Are we well. in trouble yet? Endure Can this. we retreat already? Make every strike count. <laughs> okay. Hope you enjoyed living. Eh, fifty gold is worth it. Whoa, why am I so low on health? We'll make things right. What, what, what does this do? Oh. Just a free heal I can use on people. Of course. Of course, it's five. Well, let's head out. I feel like I should probably get some pretty good loot from a rich person's house. All right. Well, Thank first doors first. Thank you for inviting me on this journey. Risking life and limb, facing countless dangers. This will hurt! Uh -huh. A mm. test of my abilities. Perhaps I shouldn't thank you. <laughs> Can... Distract them for me. Uh, Sila? Uh, okay. We do it my way. That scroll of haste, because I would love to give that to my girl. Uh, where would you be? You'd be unusable. All right, where's that scroll of haste? Yes, Nanyo. 
Haste is such a good spell. Uh, let's do... I feel like Acid Arrow is just really good. Oh, it was Expeditious Retreat. Oh, that was Haste. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. Um... Let's do shield. Oh, I, I can't. It's one of my. Okay. Oops. Color spray is kind of useless. I guess I'll just toss on another magic missile. Okay. Okay. Weird entryway into a house. Just right to the kitchens. Oh. Oh? What a splendid occasion, Count, in this new Numerian elixir is quite something. At least they're not naked, I guess. Oh, look, such darling little creatures. Metal beauty. They're, they're demons. Help! Did we find trouble? No, Who's Darian? The light. Take you. Does he diseased? Oh, he's a bard. Hell yeah! Interesting. Masterwork, scimitar. That's probably one handed, isn't it? God damn it. It went splendidly. Okay. Oh, this was some out looted. Okay. Ooh, enchanted bardish. Who are you? Decimation. I have a moth flying around. 1d10 plus 1. It's pretty cool. I really wish I hadn't chosen <laughs> great sword specialization, apparently. Oh, well. Let's talk to Darian. Greetings. Oh. Stranger oh, has him. Just burst into my life. I am the master of this house. Count Darren Kale, Mary Darren. Lewis Monikers Arunde. No need to introduce yourself. I find remembering insignificant details such as the name of passing acquaintances such a bore. Wow. Bonafide blue bloods and unparalleled aristocracy. All this makes me itch to do something really crass. Ooh, like blow my nose on the curtains. What are you waiting for, my squamous squire? The curtains in this room are velvet, but we have some excellent silk ones with gold thread elsewhere in the house. Take your pick. My soft furnishings are yours to do with as you wish. I'm quite sick of the place, truly. I shall either sell it or burn it to the ground and build a new mansion in its place. Now that we've finished with the niceties, tell me this. How did all those thrice-damned demons end up at my soiree? <sighs> Must have been some party to miss the fact that Canabras was being attacked by hordes of demons in Descari himself. Oh, come. The party was deathly dull. Rather like one of the prelate's interminable sermons. I really ought to be grateful to the demons for their intrusion. They certainly added a frisson to the proceedings. 
It seems as though Descari's occasion was altogether more of a crush than mine, if you will pardon the pun. The Count casts a look at the curtained window and the light from the city's fires flickering between the gaps in fabric. What should I know about you, Count, apart from the fact that you're uh, high-born and very rich? As a child, I had my very own pony, but I always dreamed of having a lamb. I was never allowed one. Sheep were seen as peasant animals, utterly unsuitable for the scion of a noble line. The trauma haunts me to this day. I think of it every time Poor I boy. have roast lamb for dinner. I'm sorry that happened to you. Such a sad story. I had not even the slightest intention of upsetting such a lovely child. I'm not lovely. Some people have even called me a scarecrow before. That's patently absurd. Why, you can't possibly be a scarecrow with a crow following you around. I'm sorry if I failed to sate your curiosity. I loathe talking about myself to people I don't know, even more to those I do know. The only thing worth knowing, aside from the fact that I am highborn and filthy rich, is that I dislike Puritans and demons in equal measure. Well, perhaps demons a tad more. You don't seem very concerned about the city's fate. I have no friends here whose untimely demise I would care to mourn. The only alarming thing is how easily all this happened. I don't care for the thought that demons could come calling at my door at any moment. And just think, everyone had so much faith in the ward stones gifted by Iomide's herald, and in the might of our tamed dragon. As if there had been no Dresden or a dozen other routes where the demons overcame every defense. I expect a little gratitude for saving you. Of course, of course, where are my manners? There. You can also poke about the house and claim whatever takes your fancy. Though I imagine some of you already had that in mind. I'm feeling very attacked right now. You can go to Defender's Heart. It's under the protection of Irabeth Tirabay of the Eagle Watch. I thank you for the invitation. But I am not quite as desperate as I may seem. At times, it is better to be surrounded by the repugnant mugs of demons than the sour and I like him. economies of Iomade's righteous paladins. What about my physiognomy? Sour enough for his lordship? Don't worry, another few minutes with the dazzling count here, and it'll sour like weak old milk. <laughs> What's this? An attractive paladin with a sense of humor? You're a veritable walking scandal. Either way, my mansion is now safe. I have a pair of half-decent guards. I just need to drag them out of the storeroom and bring them to their senses. I ordered them to drink a love potion, you see? For reasons which seemed extremely witty at the time and in the state of inebriation, I then found myself... I like them a lot. <laughs> they can guard the house while the valorous paladins beat back the demon assault. They will beat them back, yes? As regards myself, I feel like stretching my legs. I know rudimentary divine spells, I am no friend to demons, and I elevate any society that I deign to grace with my presence. I shall accompany you, only for a short time, of course. I have no desire to remain at the vanguard for a protracted period. What say you, my ephemeral but highly diverting acquaintance? After all, Lord Descari spoiled my party. I now burn with the desire to spoil his. Thoughts? I don't like this guy much at all. Not even because of his personality, but just... I sense something dark about him. I guess thumping him one next time he comes out with more aristocratic witterings is not allowed? All the more reason to take him with us. If we don't kill him, the demons surely will. He has all these friends at his party, and he still looks so lonely. Can take him with us. Maybe it will make him feel better. Don't ask me. Having him tag along would be like going for a nighttime stroll through the back alleys with a diamond tiara on your head. Even I don't like that kind of attention. Hmm? Huh? What? You're asking about whether to take this boy with you? The question lies outside the bounds of my interest. By the way, did you know that the young scions of noble families often sponsor the research of young scientists? What laudable passion for knowledge. True, the size of their donations bears a direct correlation to the hazardousness of the experiment being conducted. 
deal. Capital. Good acquaintances that begin and end at just the right moment often leave the most pleasant memories. Wouldn't you say? So what are you? Um... I'll take Ember out for now just to see what he is. He's an oracle. What, what is an oracle? I have no idea. Okay. Did I say negative two strength? So, so what? So what is he? He's got a crossbow. Okay. Can he equip any armor? He can. Interesting. All right. So what are you? Oh, he's an, he's an Asimar. I thought he was an elf. He's on Kenny Dodge. Okay. Okay, no attacks of opportunity for healing. Interesting. Oh, cool. So he's got a lot of channels. Okay. So he has spells as well, it looks like. So he's like a pseudo cleric, it looks like. Okay. Um, well, he's got proficiencies. He's got. Man, his strength is so bad. His charisma's 21? Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know what to do with him. Honestly, I don't. Like, his strength is so low that it, he can't really do anything. Does this use dexterity? No. He can't use bows. Honestly, I'm not even that big a fan of him. Well, I guess I'll equip him for now. Can't even use padded armor. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let's head over through the mansion, I guess. Uh, where are you in the party? You're in the back. Okay. Mobility. Pretty good, aren't I? 